Hello, BookTube. <laughs> this is Johnny. Um, this is a Saturday night here in West Michigan. It is 626 in, 626 in the evening, December the 16th, 2017. And I thought I'd make a different kind of video. I'm When I usually I make a videos, I am always sitting here in the dining room because this is where I I like the table and I like the light and I do sit in the, on our living room and I do read and uh, sometimes I sit in my main study but one thing I, I wanted to show you this evening is that when I'm sitting in here I've never shown you the books well I've showed you in the past that uh, I have mentioned that we collect books on American Indians Native Americans and we collect books on the American West and and we collect writers who have written on the American West and one writer that I want to mention tonight I just want to show you the writings of Tony Hilderman uh, Hel Hillerman uh, I've noticed that in booktube I, I don't think I've come across anybody who's mentioned this uh, writer who writes about the Navajo Indians in New Mexico. I don't think I've come across anybody who's done any book reviews. Now I have seen people do uh, Louis L'Amour, uh, but not Tony Hillerman. So I thought I'd just show you how many books. He, he passed away recently, but his daughter has carried on his legacy and has put out two novels, I think. Yeah, this is by his daughter, Anna, Annie, uh, Annie Hillerman. She's put out two after her father passed away. This is her one, The Song of the Lion, a lip, a leap horn, chi, and maeto novel. And she's put, uh, this one's uh, Rock with the Wings, a leap horn, chi, and maeto, manueto novel. She put these after her father passed away, who was Tony Hillerman. So you have the Skinwalkers. I'll just show you all the collection. This is Tony Hillerman, The Leaphorn Mysteries, Three Classics, The Blessing Way, The Dance of the Dead, Enlisting Woman. And then you have the Tony Hillerman Companion, A Comprehensive Guide to His Life and Work. Uh, so we have that in our collection. And then you have this one, Tony Hillerman, The Jim Chi Mysteries, three classic Hillerman mysteries featuring Officer Jim Chi, People of Darkness, The Dark Wind, and The Ghost Way. It says here, The People of Darkness, Hillerman's first novel to introduce Officer Jim Chi of the Navajo Tribal Police. Chi is forced to use all his powers of deduction and insight to extirate himself from a deadly series of incidents involving a mysterious millionaire, a sinister peyote eating Indian cult, and what the New York Times called an ingenious, long-acting way of murder. And the dark wind, a seemingly routine stakeout at a vandalized windmill, thrust Chi into the center of dangerous web of drugs, witchcraft, and betrayal. And in the ghost way, a felon relocated under the Federal Witness Location Program sets off a chain of treachery and killings and only Chi has the knowledge of the people in the landscape to understand the clues. So that's the kind of what you're... They all revolve around this this uh, officer Jim Chi, the Navajo Tribal Police and so... And then you have the The Thief of Time by Tony Hillerman. I'll just put these back as I go through them because it's going to stack up here. I don't want to get 
a total mess here. So, put these in order here. And then you have The Talking God by Tony Hillerman. And then we have Coyote Waits. And then we have by Tony Hillerman The Sacred Clowns Tony Hillerman Finding Moon and then we have The Fallen Man by Tony Hillerman there's a picture of him in the back Tony Hillerman it says here is past president of the Mystery White Writers of America has received their Edgar and Grand Master Awards among his other honors are the Center for the American Indians and Ambassador Award, the Silver, the Silver Spur Award for Best Novel Set in the West, the Navajo Tribe Special Friend Award. His many best-selling novels include Finding Moon, Sacred Clowns, Coyote Waits. He lives with his wife, Maria, in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And then he wrote... The First Eagle. And then we have The Hunting Badger by Tony Hillerman. And then we have The Waiting Wind. The Wailing Wind. Another picture of him. And then we have The Sinister Pig by Tony Hillerman. And then we have Skeleton Man. And the Shape Shift The Shape Shifter by Tony Hellerman. And then we have I think this was his last novel, let me see. It says here Legendary Lieutenant Joe Leaphorn is back in this latest tale of murder and mystery from the renowned best-selling author. Since his retirement from the Navajo tribal policeman, Joe Leaphorn has occasionally been enticed to return to work by former colleagues who seek his help when they need to solve a particularly puzzling crime. They ask because Leaphorn, aided by officers Jim Chi and Bernie Manito, always delivers. But this time, the problem is with an old case of Joe's. His last case, unsolved, is one that continues to haunt him. And with Chi and Bernie just back from the, their honeymoon, Leaphorn is pretty much on his own. The original case involved a priceless, one-of-a-kind Navajo rug supposedly destroyed in a fire. Suddenly, what looks like the same rug turns up in a magazine spread the man who brings the photo to Leaphorn's attention has gone missing. Leaphorn must pick up the threads of a crime he thought impossible to entangle. Not only has the passage of time obscured the details, but it also appears that there's a murderer still on the loose. So, and then we have... Uh, Tony Hillerman's Navajo Land, Hideouts and Haunts in Heavens, and the Joe Leaphorn and Jim Chi Mysteries by Lauren, Lawrence D. Lafford, forward by Tony Hillerman. And then we have, edited by Tony Hillerman, The Spell of New Mexico. And then we have The Best of the West, an anthology of classic writings from the American West by Tony Hillerman. And then we have... What else we have here? We have Tony Hillerman, a memoir. Uh, Seldom Disappointed, a memoir by Tony Hillerman. And then we have Tony Hillerman's Landscape on the Road with with Chi and Leaphorn and Hillerman photo, photographs by Don Steele. 
What else do we have here? That's it. So that's our uh, Tony Hillerman collection. I think there's one more, but I think my wife is reading that one in the bedroom. So I thought I'd show you. Uh, oh, this is another one by Ann Hillerman, the Spider Woman's Daughter. So she has three out right now. Tony Hillerman's Daughter, Anna. So we keep those in our American West collection. And I thought I'd mention him for those who would like to read about the American West, read about New Mexico, read about the Navajo Indians, and about the, it's, these are really good mysteries. Um, and I think that if you pick them up, you might find them interesting. So I thought I, we do, I'd just show them because I'm always sitting here and I'm always looking at them along with uh, some of Louis L'Amour. But I won't show you the Louis L'Amour. That's another time. I've shown you in the past uh, the shelving over there by the wall of the American West. So that's what's going on. I just thought I'd just show those. This is, like I said, this is a Saturday night. Uh, nothing really going on. My wife is working from 6 in the evening to 10 at night. She calls it the princess shift. Today, I don't know if I read anything today. I, I've been kind of out of it. I did go to thrift stores this afternoon. I had to pick up a prescription. I stopped at two local thrift stores and found about six, seven books. But I'll show those in the future videos. As far as what I read today, uh, I read that book on sanctification by Michael Allen. And uh, that's about all I read today. I don't know what else. I, my, we went to the grocery store this morning. No. Was that this morning? Today is Saturday. What did we do today? My wife left and went to visit her, an elderly friend in a nursing home. And I don't know. And then I went to get, pick a prescription up. I went to thrift stores. I don't think I even read anything today. <laughs> I, I know I listened to some death metal. I watched videos on booktube. I uh, watched some birds. Wrote in my diary. I don't know where the day went. I, I, my mind just went, just time got away from me. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do tonight. Uh, I'll probably read something. I did get out to read those more reflections on the Book of Job by Gregory the Great, but I don't know. I might just put on some death metal and sit in the dark and just wait for my wife to call me. To, my wife. Uh, I drove my wife to work. It's only a couple of minutes from where we live. And so I pick her up at 10 o'clock and bring her home. And tomorrow's a Sunday. I don't know if my wife works tomorrow night. If she works tomorrow night, and she's, I might make a video and show you those used books and what I've been reading. But, uh, so yeah, that's what's going on here. Yeah, read, uh, like I said, Check out Tony, Tony Hillerman. Check out Skinwalkers. Uh, like I said, he passed away recently. It says here about him, a former wire service reporter and college professor. Tony Hillerman lives in Albuquerque where he now writes full time. It says Skinwalkers takes the reader deep into the canyons, mesas, immense empty spaces of the Southwest the land between the sacred mountains into the clan society of America's largest tribe, which is the Navajo, unpretentiously imbued with the mystique of Navajo culture. This is a moving book which will linger in the memory of its readers. This is his first novel. So check out T Tony Hillerman if you like something about American West, Navajo culture, about New Mexico. So, I just thought I'd mention those because like I said, I'm always looking at them while I'm making videos for BookTube and I thought I might as well just show them tonight. So I hope that you're having uh, a good weekend. 
Thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for the comments. And until next time, bye.